Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, boy oh boy, we're about to witness no Russian! Now ladies and gentlemen, if you remember the end of Modern Warfare 2, the remake, you know that they hyped up no Russian. There was gonna be a terror attack. Now ladies and gentlemen, the history of no Russian is insane. If you ever played back in the old days, 2008 on the Xbox 360, Activision was ballsy enough to put a goddamn playable terrorist attack mission into a video game. Now, I'm gonna get into it a little bit afterwards. I actually wanna see if this kinda holds up. Obviously, uh, do you think that in 2023, Activision's gonna go out of their way to do a terrorist attack in a modern AAA video game? They're not gonna ban you for game sharing, okay? Let's get into the magic of it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! So here I got Passenger. All right, let's get started. Let's see how scary this shit is. I'm not gonna spoil what happens in the story. This is MW3. I wanna see if they've got the balls here. There was a chemical attack on a Russian base. All right, Makarov's heading through TSA security. Everything's good. You got the teddy bear from the old MW3. Oh, he's bringing parts for the gun? Damn! <laughs> They're gonna build it on the flight, too. Actual, uh, airport, uh, actual, like, TSA people in the audience. Can you even do that? Alright, here it is. They're boarding to Sochi. Let's go. You don't know that you're safe. Nobody is safe. In the world of terror, no one is. All right, Samara Jalal, former ULF passenger. Wait, is the husband? Oh. Ooh, he got it. No Russian. Oh, there's another terrorist walking away. How is she getting full signals on the airplane, by the way? That's just impossible. Kind of looks like me. What the fuck? <laughs> We're both cosplaying Bin Laden. Oh, shit. <clears throat> it's kind of creepy. Maybe they'll let me fight the terrorists. Oh, shit! No, how about no? I'm the fucking air marshal, dude. Me and Pi oh, oh Jesus. Oh fuck. No, 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 please, there are more. Oh. Hell yeah, I just stopped the terrorists, dude! Wait, will they let you shoot a civilian? They do not. Damn, they flashbang me up? How many terrorists do they have here? No, they're gonna make me wear the bomb vest? You think you are? That's this fucked up! So, for anybody that needs to know, they're, they're, Makarov, the bad guy in this game, is doing, like, false flag attacks. So he's making, like, this, uh, Urzikstani people in the game look like the bad guys. There's no so way he's gonna make me wear the goddamn vest. What is this? This off me, you fucking son of a bitch! Shh, 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 shh. You will be a hero for what you're doing here, Samara. No one will believe you. I am not a terrorist. No. You're a citizen soldier inspired by Farah Karim to fight Russia. You're a freedom fighter. 
Dude. <laughs> this plane is full of Russians. How could you kill your own people? No, I'm not kidding them. You are. We need 8,000 feet, Commander. Leave the Russian side, Samar. Leave. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> well, they do let you kill civilians. <laughs> Give me that phone, you sick bastard! We can stop this! You terrorists. No! You look like one. Go get it. No way, dude. I'm give not a terrorist. Sucker. Give me the fuck. Get the why they want they don't give you ammunition to shoot the civilian. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is like Dude, I'm literally doing a homelander. Shoot two civilians to save like the hundreds. Oh no, they're pushing me down. Let me go. I need to get to that phone. Give it to me. Give me the phone. Oh, dude. Well, we need to update you on breaking news of a Russian passenger jet that crashed in the Uzbekistan. passengers and nine crew members were may have been deliberately crashed. Standing very was an unexplained for the cockpit voice a recorder. Cockpit voice recorder that is a crucial part oh, of the man. Dude, they pussied out of it. God damn. I'm actually so sad about that. Literally the only thing that I would have been excited about. Fuck me in the asshole, dude. <laughs> actually super excited about actually part I shouldn't say that publicly like I shouldn't I shouldn't be saying that I'm excited to perform an act of an, an, an act of harm in a video game it is a video game after all you know it's pretty wild when back in the day there's an entire Wikipedia article about the terror mission in modern warfare 2 like this isn't like call of duty wikia this is like literally part of the original. And you know what? It's funny. They didn't even cut this out of the 2020 version of the game. They even had a part of this in the Wii version of Modern Warfare 3. Could you imagine waggling Wii Sports and having a part of a terror attack show in a video game? Yeah, this is insane, ladies and gentlemen. If you played the original version, you literally hold an LMG and slaughter Tons of civilians at Zakaev International Airport, by the way, ending by shooting Russian Spetsnaz and Russian SWAT team forces. Like, you are actually just shooting the good guys. You literally play as a CIA agent and, uh, and, and actually switch. Like, you play as a deep cover CIA guy shooting up a bunch of civilians in the hopes to infiltrate the ranks of a terrorist. And that's one of the big turning points of the original game. Dude, the entire, like... Modern trilogy has been building up to this and they kind of pussied out of that man Like don't get me wrong. It was a bit intense to, to sort of sit there get a gun handed to you Maybe shoot like two or three actual baddies You couldn't obviously shoot a civilian or, or a kid in the video game because let's be honest They're trying to sell this to the mass market uh, I don't think Activision is at a point where they want to scare the shit out of anybody uh, You know any groups out there, you know This is one of those missions where even in the original development there were gay Game testers that exp like literally who wouldn't even play the entire mission at all and what's insane is this one mission actually was subject to not only heavy censorship but entire removals from certain versions of the video game imagine being a Russian obviously you don't want to see the mission no Russian where your own people are getting shot up but it's such a key point in the storyline that it's like how can you just remove it now, I think this would have been better in the story had you uh, maybe played this intro section where instead of getting like searched or, you know, going through security, you would have actually played this. Maybe Makarov would have built up the lore by showing you other terrorists and showing you how they beat the security and got all these little doodads through. Uh, maybe discuss some of the plot a little bit. And then you switch to this character that eventually starts talking to this woman that is then uh, feigned as a terrorist. I feel like that would have been an interesting showcase to, to build the plot plot this was like three four minutes of trying to be scary or trying to like uh you know um i guess you could say uh freak out the audience shock the audience but it doesn't have the same weight as the original no russian because obviously when you're actually playing and engaging in a very very sick act right 
that's that that that'll never be replicated. And honestly, I don't think that Activision was going to go and do it just because like clearly they have to play it safe, okay? Let's be honest here. This is a big brand. You can't afford controversy anymore, and that's where we're kind of sitting at. So yeah, in that regard, it does feel like a letdown. Even from the gameplay that we got, it was like maybe five minutes when they easily could have built it up and had more of an impact throughout the story. I think for a lot of people who are willing to play this campaign, this is what they were waiting for, and this might be the biggest kick uh, in the face, if you will. But, yay. I want to know what you guys think about it, too. I'm let down. Maybe you aren't. Let me know in the comments below. You know, it's like playing Spec Ops The Line, you know? Something dark and gritty like that. They had a chance, but they goddamn ruined it, ladies and gentlemen. That might have been one of the most... That, that might have been one of the chief letdowns of 2023. They strap a bomb on you, Makarov gets away, making you look like the bad guy. And uh, that's pretty much what it is. And you know what? I'll give the game credit, okay? It didn't, it, it didn't immediately punish me for almost shooting a civvy in the head, okay? You know, otherwise, God damn it, to get to that phone, I would have done anything. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that is, uh... You know what a kick to the balls feels like? <laughs> this is the digital version of it, man. God damn it. This is me, Mudhar, and uh, yeah, I'm out.